with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a different kind of video that we're going to be reacting to it is still sml related because of course you guys know still that our boy logan broke his back during the sml jeffy's fast and furious so i seen I, I didn't even realize that they had a channel where they posted vlogs on so this is my first time seeing the channel but it was in my recommendations and uh i guess he posted a vlog about i broke my back so maybe he's going to explain what happens in this video and i kind of wanted to, to to see exactly what happened for myself so we're going to check this out as always the original video will be in the description down below and before we get into this video if you guys would like to follow the unfiltered channel the link for that will be in the description down below me nate and chris we got a joint channel we've been dropping crazy videos over there for y'all and also make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you do not miss any of the uploads baby and without further ado let's dive right into my boy logan breaking his back let's do it hey guys no diddy by the way the when i said uh Today, breaking his back <laughs> y'all know what i meant how i broke my back a few so days he ago. is gonna explain okay ago. yeah two days all right so two days ago i broke my back and I Okay, so he's the fact that he's sitting down and the fact that every time he says like he broke his back, I just get like a feeling in my back like, oh, I couldn't imagine. But also like the fact that he's sitting down, I didn't think he could sit down or anything. A car like, accident, that's a horrible. single car accident. I didn't hurt anyone. No one else <coughs> hurt but me. Um, but if you see, I'm in a back brace. You can see my back. I have to wear this back brace for 12 weeks because I fractured my L1 and L4 vertebrae. And I'm gonna explain how uh, I did it. So, it's kind of his fault. Yeah, it's 100% my fault. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. we filmed Jeffy's Fast and Furious, which is gonna be uploaded Saturday or Sunday, depending on how, if I can edit so it or not. So this is before way, he uploaded this man okay. broke his back two days ago and went ahead and filmed today. He's a madman. Okay, see, I finished the video because we had filmed the whole Fast and Furious drag race scenes at the drag strip, but we didn't have the the intro, outro, or the middle scene. And I said, I gotta finish this video and get it out by Saturday at least. So we filmed today. Afterwards, I felt like I had to throw up. I was in a lot of pain, I was sweating. But the video is gonna get done for you guys, but let me explain. He looks just alone right now. Like he looks like he's in a lot of pain, like recording. I mean, how it happened. So we were filming Jeffy's Fast and Furious or whatever I'm gonna call it. It's a parody of Fast and Furious. And so we rented out a drag strip for the day. And so I brought all my cars, the Porsche, the Lamborghini, Tito's Hellcat. He brought his GT500. I brought my Camaro Exorcist. So I have a Camaro Z01 and I sent it to Hennessy to get a thousand horsepower upgraded to it. And so that car, ever since I got it back a few weeks ago, it, it tried to kill me because it's so powerful to the back wheels. Um, but I was like, man, I can't wait to film a racing video. So we get to the track and I tell everyone, and the, you, you were there, everyone heard it. The, whole, the fact that you could put a thousand horsepower under the engine is crazy. <laughs> like, I, I told everyone, I said, guys, there's going to be a wreck today and it's going to be that Camaro. I, I know it's going to be that Camaro. I know it is. Oh, so he kind of like spoke this upon himself pretty much type shit is what he's saying. I've known that car. It, 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 it's tried to kill me. And I was like, I just feel like that car is going to wreck. And everyone's like, no, don't say that. I said, I think so. Meaning that someone's going to lose control and hit a wall or something. Yeah, I thought someone's going to lose control and hit a wall. But anyway, let me explain. So we're, we film all day. We were filming for maybe about six hours, just getting racing scenes of the Porsche versus the Lamborghini. And then we got the Porsche versus the Tesla and all that stuff. And uh, we got to a point where the, Lamb the, the Porsche had to verse the Camaro Exorcist. And I wanted a scene of the Camaro doing a burnout. And... We, I got that scene over and over and over and over again because I wanted it to launch with the smoke. So we probably burned the tires seven, eight different times. So the traction was completely burnt off there that. There was no tread left on the tires. Yeah, there was no tread on the, there was no tread on the tires. It was just completely bald. Mm. Um, and so the tread is what makes you grip the ground. And also the track was slick. And so we, you know, we finished filming the video. It's getting dark. It's like 7 p.m., 7.30, sundown. The sun's setting. And uh, I was like, well, we got to race our GT5. We got to race the Camaro versus the GT500. We hadn't done that yet. And so, you know, we lined up. And before, before I got in the car, I looked at the tires, the back tires, and I go, man, there's no fucking tread. Okay. Okay. Like, he, the fact that he's laughing about it is kind of crazy because he's explaining, like, it damn near sounds like he, he, he's seen all the intangibles and everything was not aligned up for this to be. So for this to be a good situation. Plus, he already said he felt like there was going to be a wreck. And he still 
kept going for more and more type shit. That's what it sounds like almost. Not good. But I was like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The, after the track ends, there's a good 200 feet to stop. Like, right? Yeah. So I was like, I, I'll i stop in time. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm getting It's hurting sitting down for a second. Um, so me and Will take off. You know, we're speeding. I think we hit 140. Yeah, you were going faster than me, and I was 140. Yeah, I think yeah, I hit 140. I don't know. I don't remember the. But all I know is that I was. I after we got off the track, I started trying to slow down, and I remember seeing 90 miles an hour on my heads up display. I was like, oh, 90, and I tried to go into the turn whilst braking, because I was like, this car will stop. So I tried going into a turn at 90 while stopping, because I was like, this car stops all the time. But there was no tread on the tire. And so it started skidding. And I was like, oh, and there was a, there's, a, there's dirt at the end of the track in case your brakes fail that you go into the dirt. But I was going into the turn. So when I pressed the brakes and it didn't stop, the car went. And, and I remember sliding and I went, oh, fuck. I was like, this is, this, this is bad. This, uh, it's gonna, I'm going to wreck. And, and I remember flying off this hill. So my car flew off this hill. And then when the car slammed on the ground, I felt my back break. Like, because my car, how much air did you Damn. I, I say nine or ten feet. It was Air Logan. He was going, you were high up there, bro. Yeah, so my car went up a, like, like, like went up a hill, and I was in the air. And when my Camaro slammed on the ground, it slammed my body back into the seat. And that's when I felt my back break and my lower back. I felt it just, I felt the pain shoot up. And I said, oh, my God. But the problem is the car kept going. So after I hit the ground and my back broke, mm. I was already in shock of my back breaking. Like I was like, Bruh, nah, nah. Like I'm getting like, whoo, I'm getting chills. Like there's just no way, like, what the bruh. Fuck stuff, stuff, stuff. And then I hit, what did I hit? A uh, little metal covert. Yeah, I, I, I thought I hit the trees because I, I was going towards the trees. And so um, I hit whatever the hell I hit and the airbag came out. And uh, you can see it... Uh, Got my arm. I don't have a good angle. Yeah, so, you know, the airbag came out, and I went to go block the airbag with my arm, which I did, and I don't. Rem- I didn't remember much. Uh, like, I remember hitting it, doing this, the airbag came out, and I was like, fuck, I'm paralyzed. I was like, fuck, I can't. I, I know I'm paralyzed because my lower back, I knew it was broken. I knew it was. And so, but I could move, and so my instinct was to get out of the car as fast as I can and run, which you're not supposed to do because you could hurt yourself even more, but I wanted to know, I wanted to make sure I could still run. I wanted to make sure I wasn't paralyzed because as soon as I hit that and the airbag came out, the only thing I could think of was, this isn't real, this is a fucking nightmare, this is a fucking nightmare. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to play with Lily. Uh, I, I thought it was dead also, like it just didn't feel real because I was like, what the fuck's going on? Right, uh, right. And so Adrenaline I got out of my car and I started crazy. running. And I was like, okay, good, good, I'm not paralyzed. And Will, I saw Will running towards me and I said, pick me up, pick me up. Cause I was like, he needs to pick me up. Cause I, my back was broke. I knew it was broken. So then he, uh, he put me. Wait, in wait, the- wait. So when your back is broke, okay. Okay. Obviously, obviously, uh, of course, if your, your back is broke, you should still be able to use your legs and arms. Cause that's not your back, but you can still like, like the, that pain had to be excruciating. I don't care how much adrenaline you was in. Like how the hell did you get out the car to fucking run, bruh? Like what? Mustang. Uh, and drove that sounds crazy to uh, me. I mean, you could tell me what you're. I'm literally yeah, so picturing my it in my head. Is whenever we were run, we were running down the strip, and like I said, you were probably going 150. I was like 140, and he had you had braked before I did, and I was like, oh cool, okay, we're about to make this turn. Let him go first because you're in the left, and when you turn off the strip to the exit, it's on the left hand side. So like I'm on the right side. Let him take the exit first. So I'm like, okay, he's braking, and then I see your back tires aren't stopping. Like they're, they're, they they stopped, but you're not braking. Your brake lights are on, but your car's not slowing down. I said, oh my gosh, he's gonna have to use the dirt, and I didn't know you're trying to make the turn. So when you kept going straight, I said, oh shit, he's going to have to stop in the actual grass. And what we didn't see was that there was like an eight foot like ridge, like a little drop down this hill. So he had hit the ridge and went up about two, three feet in the air and then went down another 11 feet from the ridge. And I didn't see him after he got air. So I was like, holy shit, like everything in my mind was just going at once. So I was like, I hope he's okay. So I stopped the car, ran out as fast as I can to go to him and and he didn't get out of the car yet, but as I was running, he got out of the car and started running toward me. I was like, oh my God, he's fine. And then he fell. And then he's like, pick me up, pick me up. And the first thing you asked for was for your daughter, which yeah. is crazy. I picked him up. You could tell he was just in shock. Like, he was like, just asking so many questions. Because like in a situation like that where you can't control your car and, it, you know, there's nothing you can do, you're kind of like... You, you, you're, you're vulnerable. I wouldn't know what to do either. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, because because keep in mind, guys, I've been driving a Camaro for since I since 2013, and you know, my I've all like the Camaro is the car I've always felt like I've it, I know that car, like I know the control, but I had just got it back from Hennessy three weeks ago, and ever since I got it back, I had told Will I was like I think I ruined my car because. It's it, it's a little too. It's a thousand horsepower. <laughs> it's a little too powerful, and it, it doesn't it doesn't listen to me. It fights me everywhere I go, and so like I knew I shouldn't have drove it that last time because the tires were so yeah. bald. Um, but I was like, whatever. We've been doing it all day, and then that's you know. But I also it's my fault too because I should have just kept going straight and pressed the brakes more. I shouldn't have tried to go into a turn going that fast. Skill issue. Yeah, yeah, no, that's me. <laughs> um, but also, so yeah, I meant so will speeds me to the other side of the track and they were about to go again because they couldn't see us yeah like, they didn't know idea what was going on they were going to race the corvette and the Lam plat, the lamborghini and so we pull up and i open the car to the, the door of the mustang and i go lay on the ground so in these pictures that's where i laid down i never moved after that i got out and i laid and i because i was like take me to a hospital take me to a fucking hospital because i knew my back was broken i knew it was broken it that was it was the worst pain and it wouldn't stop, but I also couldn't stop panicking. Like I was having panic attacks over, and I was like, "What's going on?" I, and panic so attacks on the worst, so because you know, I, they didn't know what my injuries were. Um, and then, you know, we were an hour out into Alabama where there was no civilization, <laughs> and so <laughs> they were gonna call life flight. And I was like, "If you put me in a helicopter, I'm gonna fucking scream. Do not put me. I'd rather do an hour long ambulance ride. I do not want to be." Uh, and then in a helicopter, I fucking hate that. Fuck that. So they put me in an ambulance for an hour and they put me a bunch of drugs in me. So I was fine the whole ambulance ride. And then I went to the hospital and they did MRIs and CT <coughs> scans. And they found out that I fractured, uh, the L1, L4 vertebrae. And they, the neurosurgeon didn't want to do surgery. So he put me in a back brace for 12 weeks. And these last few days have been really painful, like right. really fucking painful. Uh, like right now, I'm starting to sweat because I've been I haven't sat this long in a while, so I'm gonna stand up. Hold on. Um, so yeah, uh, standing is I can stand, I can sit, I can lay down, but man, something about bending is that's the most painful. So anyway, uh, yeah, they're gonna they said I'm gonna be in a brace for 12 weeks. That's how it happened. So when you go to the bathroom, I can't even imagine the pain when you got to go to the bathroom. Uh, me and Will are the only ones that witnessed it happen. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I got the third person point of view. Yeah, everyone. I, so uh, they said my Camaro might not be totaled. I don't think it's totaled. I what? don't think it's totaled. Yeah, so I was like, you better take that a thousand it, horsepower from under the engine, my boy. With you. So you wouldn't drive it in to get it back right now because I wouldn't blame you. But I, well, I can't drive anyway. But yeah. it, I don't know. I I think it's. I just think it's. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I just think it's that car should be done. I'm in a lot of pain. Hold on. I've got time to take my pain medicine. So yeah, I just want to explain to you guys what happened. And I want you guys to know I am okay. Uh, I'm going to be... The, the worst, honest to God, the worst part right now is I haven't used the bathroom in three days because the pain medicines make you constipated. And so I haven't used the bathroom in days. So actually, the stomach pain from being so constipated is actually outweighing the back pain. Because they have me on hydrocodone or whatever the fuck it is. Bro, look, I ain't going to lie. And so I... <laughs> look, I commend Logan, bro, because I would not be able to go through this shit, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, your mindset, your perspective will change if you was actually going through it. Like, I've had crazy injuries. Like, even the fact that in my ankle, when I broke my ankle and I snapped the ball joint in my ankle in half and I had to get four screws in my right ankle, bro, like... That when I when that happened to me, I didn't feel it. Like I, I I didn't feel anything, but I feel like the back is a lot worse. I was in the cast for six, seven weeks, you know, and it took a minute, like you know, for me to walk again and all that kind of shit. But I don't know, man. That back would be very uncomfortable. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. We're gonna continue to pray for Logan and the speedy recovery and the fact that he is uh, even still doing content or attempting to while going through this. Hope he takes it slow, but he's a warrior at the end of the day, man. And this is why that content is fire. I really enjoy that shit. Before I get up out of here, if you guys would like to follow the unfiltered channel, the link will be in the description down below. Thank you guys for all the continued support as always. And I will see you guys in the next video, baby. We are out. Peace.